Hey, it's Christina Pierce. Um, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, still have not been able to speak to the kids. Um, and some people have asked if the court order gave him discretion to cancel the Zoom calls. So I just wanted to clarify, um, no, it did not. It was ordered despite the fact of um, the legality or the concerns that the order was to take the kids from me and give me Zoom calls three days a week. Um, I'm sorry, three times a week. Um, which to note, I mean, that's like the bare minimum. I mean, he could Zoom with me 50 times a week if he wanted. Um, it's kind of like when you get a custody, if, you know, whatever his prior schedule was, it's not that the kids could be foreboden from seeing him more than that. Um, and there were often times that we switched or did other things. So, I mean, just to, for clarification, it doesn't mean he cannot Zoom more than three times. It just means he's minimally obligated to do three times a week, um, which now he has said, uh, that he will not do anymore. Um, his reasons cited were um, retaliation for personal grievances, um, not even <laughs> um, anything that is legal or reasonable in that regard either. But um, yes, thank you for the feedback on the filings. Um, we had that under control. Um, I am concerned and feel horrible for my kiddos who can't even hear my voice now to tell them that I love them. Um, they can't even get a hug through a screen, which felt horrific before, um, but now they can't even have that. And also it worries me, like, what, why? Like they're in their heads thinking like, well, why can't I talk to my mom on a Zoom call now? It was like, does she not want me? Does she not want to? Is she too busy? Um, no, I'm not. I'm here for my babies as much as possible and I'm not too busy. Um, and I hope they know that. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all the thoughts and concerns. Um, sorry, my voice is a little shaky. Um, we've already received some good calls this morning and um, an update on media, uh, which is exciting. Um, in the live that was done on another account, we had mentioned uh, something, but um, vaguely because... Uh, but that we do have some progress there, which is really exciting. Um, not just for my children, but in general for the nine of us that have had to endure this from the judge in particular, um, as well as the teenage children that are now speaking out, um, who my heart breaks for. You know, when a 17-year-old says, this judge did this to me, she did horrific things to me, trying to take me from my mother, and this child fought her way back, and no child should have to do that. No child should have to run away to go back to their mother. Um, and I appreciate all the brave people who are coming forward. Um, it is scary to be, to be loud. It is scary to be public. You always fear retaliation, as I did for months before this happened. Um, many of my friends have reached out saying, oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you in a while. I had no idea it was this bad. And it's like, well, of course you had no idea it was this bad because I'm not going to post anything. I'm too afraid to say anything publicly. I have to just be quiet so the judge doesn't get mad at me. Um, but that's not the law and that's not how it works. And I know that Suffolk, or I'm sorry, I know probate court um, is questionable in terms of law, but it does not negate the requirement of state law. Um, and... <sighs> How did it have to come to this? I always was concerned that nobody's going to care until my daughter is in a hospital bed. And I really thought that the care happened when she threatened that or she said that that was her thoughts. And Boston Medical Center did a great job. I don't have any problems with Boston Medical Center. They were phenomenal. They came into my home because her emotional state could not even leave. Um, when the prior EMS had tried to take her in, and that was their advice. Um, she freaked out at the idea of being of leaving the home, and, and I didn't want to traumatize her further. Boston Medical Center came right into the home to evaluate her directly um, and noted everything in the report based on their, their profession, what they see, what they know, not what a probate judge with no experience in the matter wants to do. Um, one, of the, one of the worst things I heard um, about this judge in stating to mothers that I've seen the transcripts. Um, I don't care how old your child is until they're 18. They're under my control. 
I honestly don't have words for that.